Well, our next candidate standing in Douglas South is Paul Quine. Um, you might remember Paul, and certainly you might have heard his voice on the uh, PA system on uh, Fly B. That's correct. And we, we talked when we were going to Heathrow that time. We did. So that's your, that was your day job with Fly B, was it? Yeah, it's, it's strange, isn't it? Um, only a year ago, so much optimism, um, reconnecting the Isle of Man with the world via Heathrow. Um, and, and no one could have saw um, what was about to, um, to occur, obviously, with the uh, co coronavirus um, pandemic, which has obviously hit aviation harder than most industries. So it's, it's taken a real hammer blow. So what's made you have this change of direction politics? Well, I feel when we, um, when we come through this, when we get out of the other side, that it's, it's fundamentally important that we have good sustained airlinks from the island to, to regrow our economy. It's vital that we have um, the carrier based here on the island in order for the island to be best served by the carrier mm -hmm. in order to um, reconnect us to various key uh, airports around the British Isles, Hope, um, Manchester, London, Birmingham, in order for business to be able to flourish and, and to attract new business into the island, which is obviously going to be very important to us um, rebuilding our economy. So that, would that be your main point of standing? I mean, if you turn up the door, what else would you be saying to people? Well, obviously that's a national issue. Hmm. Um, that's, that's sort of an You're a local boy though from the area, right? Aren't you? I am, yes. Yeah. I was brought up in Annika, yeah. in Hibben Lane. So yeah, I'm, a, I'm a, an Annika lad. So uh, yeah, th I mean, there's various um, issues in the area. I've, I've, I've been speaking to people over the, the weekend for the last few days. Obviously, um, notable issues are antisocial behaviour, um, low-level crime, but it, all that impinges very significantly on the quality of life of a, of a lot of good, decent people in Douglas South. That, I mean, that's always going to go on in any neighbourhood particularly, though. Nothing, I mean, what could you bring to the party to change any of that? Well, I mean, I'd, I'd like to sort of liaise with the police. Uh, if certain houses are identified as being involved in, 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 in crime, and, and I have to say um, a couple of houses have already been identified to me as, as active drug dens, oh. then, then you know it needs to be stamped on. Do the police not know about them? I, I don't know and I wouldn't like to comment because no. it, obviously a lot of apprehension of such things is intelligence led and, and, and it would be probably um, you know, uh, remiss of me to jump the gun on that. Okay. But, but certainly people in the area have identified, people who I knew as a lad who, who have, who have um, now in, in, in their more senior years have um, identified sort of, you know, mm -hmm. the level of antisocial behaviour which is ostensibly becoming uh, or ostensibly driven by, by drugs um, as, a, as a major impingement on their quality of life. Any other political experience before this? Uh, um, jumping into, you know, MHK rather than going through uh, local politics yeah. or anything like that? Uh, not directly. Um, I was involved um, on the company council of the British Airline Pilots Association, so I do have um, quite a lot of uh, experience in negotiations uh, and so forth. But uh, direct political experience as such on the island, none. But, you know, as I've just, you mm -hmm. know, just heard, I'm, I'm a very yeah. proud Manxman and very passionate about the island, about its future, about the well-being of our people, and um, you know the, the the best course of you know to, to continue forward for all of us. You're standing as independent. Mm -hmm. What what's your views on government as it is? Watching. I mean, have you asked me about the uh, situation with the lockdown? All that. What's your views on that? I think um, personally, and I think this reflects the view of a lot of people that the government have done an excellent job. You know, particularly David Ashford, the, the health minister, he's, he's been absolutely first class. And Howard Quayle, I mean, what we have to remember, Paul, is that there's, there's no standard operating procedures where this is concerned. There's no rule book that can be opened and say, this is how we go about it. Everything had to be done um, sort of from scratch, as it were. And I think, I think the island acted in the best interests of us all um, in, in, in getting the borders closed and, and allowing us to isolate the cases that we have. Sadly, of course, 24 of our mm -hmm. fellow islanders died as a consequence. But when we look at what's occurring in the UK still, the, the sort of ham-fisted ham approach in some respects, I think we've, we've done very well, and, and that's a tribute to our government. And what about reopening the borders? Where do you stand? I think it has to be very measured. Um, what we have to do is, is, I mean, we have the 14-day period now, as, as you know, but that has to be enforced. Um, very rigorously people coming back onto the island because we can't afford to drop the ball. We've, we've done very well. Um, I think everyone bought into what the lockdown involved and I think um, that everyone now who is, as we start to benefit from, from our own sacrifice, we don't um, necessarily uh, need it to be upset by, by slackness from people returning and not adhering to the advice and the rules um, governing the 14 days. You're probably gathering that everyone's opinionated on this one very much, aren't they? They're polarised almost. People want to keep it shut, want to keep it open. Yes, I mean, 
you know, the border hasn't been closed as such, of no. course. The, um, just going back to aviation, Logan Air um, have managed to, to continue um, to operate the, um, uh, the patient transfer service, you know, because a lot of people, or certain people still need um, very important healthcare during this, and, and they were able to do that. So the people have travelled on and off the island, obviously, with the approval of the government. So we have, like I say, we have to be measured and, and, and you know, we have, we have to be very cautious in how we, we go forward with this. Would this be a full-time occupation or would you look at to taking up, uh, well, some sort of airline job again, though? Well, yeah, like I say, I mean, my, 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 one of my passions in, 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 in this election or, or for, for the wider island issue is the fact that we, we do need good sustained air links once um, we come through. And I find it somewhat bizarre that successive Manx governments um, who are quite happy to lavish hundreds of thousands of pounds on various consultants of sometimes questionable ability continue to disregard the very lucid advice from Mr Lydiard who even 20 years after his retirement is, is still classed as one of the most eminent Would you like people. to see a Manx Airlines back then? A local airline owned? I mean, Arini, everyone looks at that and of course it isn't exactly making any money. In fact, it loses, doesn't it, Janet? Well, you have to put it in the context of the wider economy. What, what does it bring into the economy? Mm -hmm. do, do, are we able to, to offer um, regular point-to-point um, -point travel with the desired frequency that we want, realistically priced for our people? Or do, or do we allow it to be operated by people who may be here one minute and, and gone the next? You see, sure. the big issue with, with aviation, Paul, is there's no accountability. There's, with, with the steam packet, we had the user agreement, or we still have the user agreement, but there's nothing reflecting that with aviation. Now, if you have a carrier with an agreement, then you can hold them responsible under the terms of the agreement, okay. so they are accountable to you instead of the dog's dinner that we've had for the last 20 years. We shouldn't get too focused on one thing in our okay. time slot, but any other things you'd be bringing, any particular things you want to change, laws you want to bring in, anything like that? I think something that I've um, looked at is maybe a consumer council um, with regard to the heating costs on the island. Obviously, um, gas, despite um, the news release last week, still, still seems to be um, um, high. Obviously, per unit price, it's a lot higher than it is in the UK or in Ireland. And I think a consumers council where we would have maybe two or three elected members of the general public uh, or appointed, free from any political in, in, uh, interference, so um, no politicians involved, meet regularly with, the, um, with people from Manx Gas, from the MEA, uh, from the oil suppliers, and maybe with a member or two from the Office of Fair Trading. And they discuss um, the current situation with regard to, to the cost of heating. If you go into government, uh, well, if you've got one the, the, this by election, would you be seeing yourself as joining government? Would you, would, I mean, DOI, would you want to be in airport sort of territory? I, I mean, it, it's, very, yeah, it's, it's very churlish to assume anything. So I, um, you know. Where do you fit best, though? I mean, you know, where, and would you, would you want to be a member of a department? The, well, there's only about a year or 15 months left mm -hmm. to run on this, on this current parliament. So I, speaking to the people of, of the constituency, um, certainly. Um, so far as uh, the lifetime of this parliament is concerned, I would be very much um, constituency focused. A few, like I said to you earlier, a few issues have been highlighted to me which I wish to address straight away and, and devote all my um, help and all my time to those people who, mm -hmm. who need it. So I'd be very much focused on trying to... But if you to were offered something, let's try that question, if you were said, come on in, because they're a bit short, you know, using MLCs to double up and things like that, they say, come and join this department, what would you say? No. If so, you, the, what this one year term, and then on the re-election, you yeah. would then be open to that. Particular. Well, like I say, a, a, a week's a long time in politics, <laughs> Paul. Never mind a year. So, yeah. so looking uh, down the track. But like I say, my, to you earlier, my, my background's commercial aviation. If I could be involved in time, perhaps with something that benefits the aviation sector on the Isle of Man, then I'd be only too pleased to help. In no matter what guys that would take. And if you didn't make it this by-election, do you still see a future for you in politics? Is that where you're heading? Um, well, it's, I'm, I'm always going to be involved in it because I think it's only good that we are. I mean, there's, there's, um, I think there's currently eight candidates um, in the running. It's gone up one and gone down one today. You just yeah. joined it, of course. Okay. So, yeah, I think we're eight again. Yeah, so it's a, it's a very wide and, and very rich field. So it, it's very good. I think it's very heartening because um, there's a lot of apathy sometimes towards politics on the island. And I think it's... Dr. South is quite good though, isn't it, as a turnout? Yeah, I mean, like I say, I was brought up in the area and, yeah. um, you know, uh, everyone I know uh, always used to vote. Do you think there is an interest there then? 
Yeah, and, and I think over the years it's generally had very good representation. I, I think obviously. Um, so you would be back if you didn't make it this time. You'd come back in. Well, I mean, I would have to see how, how what the voters thought mm. of me, and 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 you know, um, in the sort of post-election period or by-election period, whether people uh, wished me for me to stand again, and and something that I would look for only as as and when that um, that came about.